been a while, but I'm back with another YouTube video. Um, sorry I've been gone for a while. This has been something that I've been praying about since I've, because I, I actually took advantage of, uh, leaving I had to leave for a certain reason that I prayed for and I continue praying because we all should continue praying and this is about bold and fearless being bold that's what the title of the video is obviously because you guys clicked on it so you know, I prayed about it, prayed about this YouTube channel and where it's going to go and how it's going to help because eventually, you know, these videos will help you guys. Uh, so, and before I read this verse, because it's really good, uh, You know, you can be bold, but being humble doesn't mean you're scared. Okay, I just want to let you know that now. Being humble has good traits. Uh, you know, calm and stoic and any situation... Humility is very... Humility comes with empathy, I believe. And... We need to have empathy in our lives. Care about others. I'm going to go ahead and read this verse right quick. And this is the New King James Version. Uh, I don't... Specifically tell people to read a specific version but watch out what you read some stuff is not what it seems to be this is Isaiah 41 10 fear not for I am for I am with you be not dismayed <coughs> sorry about that for I am your God I will strengthen you. Yes, I will help you. I will uphold you with my righteous right hand. Guys, anything that you're going through in life, God is going to hold you and carry you to that. So, whatever you're going through right now, just know that and the grit and the and the darkest in, in the in the valley I always remember those times when I was when I was actually worse than I already am and I told myself if God can carry me through that why why would I think he couldn't carry me through now? Uh, one thing I do want to... I almost forgot. But what I do know is that... I'm sorry, I had a... I just had a... My thoughts went away. Um, but enough of the, the silly talk. Uh, basically what I'm saying is, I did forget though, but what I'm saying is, you have to, okay, what I was going to say is, just because that something looks tough or hurdle, and, you know, it doesn't mean it's going to be 
easy. It's going to be hard. Most things are harder than others. One thing I will do, I will mention is, uh, yeah, why would I give up on God if God hasn't given up on me? And I want you to think about that. Because, think about it like this. We're human beings, correct? So because we're human beings, we make illogical, unspiritual decisions. And we don't think about what God thinks of it. We do it because we want to do it. And as humans, we're selfish. We're selfish by nature. Because it's a, it's more of like a supply and demand for humans. I need enough to keep me going, you know. But when you don't have enough, what can you do? And I'll also say this. Faith is bigger than the facts that are being told to you. Just because you don't have enough money in your bank account don't mean God can't help. God sends people in our lives to help us. So think about it, guys, girls, women, men. Think about this. If every blessing you didn't... How many times have you ever thought to yourself, this wasn't just predetermined? Or like, this was co coincidentally gonna happen? God did that. To show that his faithfulness is still... And it's always been, you know, big. Because great, how great is thy faithfulness? What I'm saying is... Be bold. In the times where it doesn't seem like you can be. You know what I'm talking about. The darkest of times you've ever been in your life. God carries you through that. And you got to see the blessings that he gives to you because sometimes we look at things and we don't even realize how blessed we are. We're sometimes we're not even blessed with what we have already right now. We take advantage of it. And we use it up. And when it's gone, then we want it back. And we're always asking God, knocking on the door, hey God, uh, uh, you know, I want this and I want that. God is not our, our butler. We're servants unto God. But God also provides our every need as well. Be bold and trust the process. Be bold and trust the process. Don't worry about how you're going to get it. Don't even worry. In fact, I would even say don't be concerned either. Don't dwell on it. How many times have you dwelled on something and thinking to yourself, I could lose my hair just by me dwelling on it. Think about it, people. You dwell and you worry about stuff. You're going to end up going crazy. You're going to lose your hair. You're not going to eat as much. You take care of you as much as you can. Don't worry about what's next. Don't worry about what happened. Don't worry about who did what to this person. Live life the way God wants you to live it. Read your Bible. Pray. Don't worry about what's next. Don't worry about 
what you're gonna wear tomorrow. Don't worry about food. Don't worry about drinks. Or something to drink. Just, you just live the way God wants you to live. Because God will provide every need while you're doing what He has called you to do. For your call. Be bold. Trust the process. And just know that God has got you. God has not forsaken you, and He will never forsaken you. And God will never give up on you. Even when you feel like He doesn't love you. He always does, and He always will. He always will love us. So guys, remember, and girls, remember, trust the process. Great is thy faithfulness. I mean, if you have to repeat this in your head over and over again, if you have to pray about this this video, and hopefully, uh, you know, when God forgive me if I said anything wrong, But if I said anything wrong in this video, please comment down below. But think about what you got. Think about how you're... Don't even think about the future. You know, don't think about the past. Just, just go. Just don't, you know, try to jump to conclusions and kick into overdrive. Where you're thinking about the past, the present, and the future. Because God will provide your every need. Be bold. Great is thy faithfulness. And you guys are awesome. Uh, yeah, I know it wasn't that long of a video. But I will continue to keep making more videos. Just like this. So, comment, subscribe, and like this video share it to your friends and your family um and i love you guys if this video helps like i said comment that's what the comment section's for so like i said you guys are awesome keep that in mind and i love you guys and have a good night